this morning I've got up and had breakfast and I've had to check out of my last hostel and moved in to another one because they were full. But I've now got a private room and I will give you a quick room tour. So it's a private room. I've got a double bed, air conditioning, television, a little wardrobe area, tea coffee making facilities. I have got water. What's this here? Toothbrush, soap, shampoo, conditioner. Do I have a view? Oh, not bad. And I have my own private bathroom as well. Shower, toilet. It's small, but I tell you what, I really like it. How nice is this? So I've got this for one night. I will add the price just here because off the top of my head, I can't remember. I didn't choose the breakfast option. I went for no breakfast, but if you wanted to pay a little extra, you can get breakfast included as well. Good morning, everyone. Today is my last day in Quran and at seven o'clock this evening, I am going to be setting sail from the harbour going to Manila. There are three different class levels on the um, beds that you get. I will add all the details down below. Um, obviously, each class setting has a different price, but in all honesty, there's not an awful lot in it between the price of the three classes. So I've booked tourist class, which is an AC room. We will see what that entails. I have heard that they do give you a meal on board. Again, there is nothing come up when I booked it. I actually booked it through 12 Go Asia. Again, I will put the link in here or down below so that you can see. The ferry only goes once a week on a Sunday. So luckily it has aligned with my timeline. Otherwise, the only other way is to fly to Manila from Caron or to get the ferry back to El Nido and then fly from there. Oh dear, I'm really not feeling well. To a modium later. I've been asleep on this little lounger all afternoon and I'm not feeling any better, just worse. And we're heading off to the boat in a minute. So I've chosen this bed right next to the door. I'm Taurus, one to three. The laundry will come after they've finished boarding. And just there is a life vest. And I've put my little bag up there. 
and I can't tell you how good it feels to lay down again. I think I'm just going to go to sleep. I feel really grumpy. <laughs> Along with the ticket you get breakfast as well. Let's have a little look and see what's in here. Egg, rice and oh, some meat sort of thing that I'm, that I'm afraid is just not going to happen because my tummy is not strong enough for that. Well, that was a horrible journey. It was quite smooth, but I feel horrible. I feel really shaky, very wobbly. I need to get to my room and lay down for the next two days. Oh, I'm feeling awful. It's a proper condominium. So I have a little kitchen with lots of utensils in here. Kettle. Odds and ends, drinking water, microwave, fridge freezer, table, television, oh, that looks like bathroom scales, a lovely bed, quite noisy air conditioning, but they all seem to be, wardrobe, two chairs, and the bathroom, which is snug. Oh, this will do very nicely. But I think to start with, the order of the day is to take a couple of paracetamol and go to sleep because I feel like I've been pulled through the ringer a little bit. Really not feeling good still, so. I am going to just have a little snooze on the bed. Oh my word, I was really nervous going to the counter in case my flight was wrong again. But I have my boarding pass and it's all good, so I'm just gonna go through security now. <laughs> 